Hello and welcome to Liverpool versus everybody. Uh, Pre-game, Burton Albion. Uh, game one of the, the cup tournament. Uh, pretty excited to see us get back out there. Um, also, the good thing is Klopp says he won't be making these major changes in the side as we did with a couple of the tournaments last season. Um, so it'd be good to see a strong lineup out there, no matter who we play. I like that idea. Um, plus, we need to get a win under our belt after losing to Burnley, I think, to bounce back with a win. Um, or at least just some confidence back. Hopefully, we can gather some confidence back and just play a good match, perform. That's, that's all I ever want to see. Win, lose, draw. Um, if we'd have lost that game to Burnley, but we showed some fight, I, I, I would have been, uh, honestly, uh, at, at least somewhat positive coming from that. Um, real quick, shout out to, to Burnley coach um, Sean Dyche. Uh, they had a rough going, uh, I guess, two seasons ago. Uh, went back down to the championship and then came back up. Uh, that's a sign of a good, strong uh, ball club and, and manager. So I think Burnley's got the right guy um, kind of steering the wheel, if you um, if you will, and uh, I, I think I think that's that's going to bode well for their team moving forward. Um, it's been a lot of former players coming out. Um, a lot of times I don't really pay attention to that because you know I, I like to focus on within the club and uh, what we're saying in the club. But um, it's Ian Wright and one other uh, Dutch football. I can't think of his name. Well, Ian Wright came out and said, you know, Klopp needs to, you know get this team or, you know, coach this team up on, on team defending. And, um, you know, he's right. But it'd be nice if, if Klopp realized that, and, and that was something that we saw um, last season. We've, we've seen that since Brendan Rodgers and, and probably even before that, I, I'd imagine. Um, it's about time, you know. Um, clearly, he feels comfortable with the team that we have. And I say that because there's certain positions that I feel like we haven't gone for. Um, and striker is one of them. I mean, an out-and-out -out striker. We have nobody, in my opinion, in our team that I, you can hang your hat on and say, that's our striker, I'm confident with him. Um, Sturge, we all know his injury history. Um, can't really depend on him for playing the whole season. Um, and Origi's still trying to find himself. And then Ings, to me, it's just not a, a he's not a, a, a striker for a ball club, not a Liverpool team. It's just not, I'm sorry. Um, Firmino is that, that kind of fourth guy who can play striker, but you know, again, that's not really his, uh, in my opinion, his best position. I think right under the striker is, is where he can function the best. He's had some great games for us at striker, but I just think he, he could be better utilized underneath the striker. So, um, but yeah, we got, we got to get better in the end. You know, we haven't gotten anybody for left back. We haven't gotten a real strong midfielder. Um, but, again, this is what the, the team at Klopp wants. So, you know, we'll give him a full season, see what, see what it is. But, in my opinion, if we're not fighting for top four, um, not even fighting for top four. If we're not in the, in the conversation comfortably in top four towards the end of the season, then you know you got to start thinking. You know, is this is this the right decision? And I know people are going to say that's harsh. Give them more time. Um, but I think I think with a full preseason with his team, I mean, you got to expect some changes. You can't. You can't. I can't. You know, just accept the same mediocre. I can't. I won't. So um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping today we we show some fight and that's all I want to see you know it still kills me that we couldn't get a guy like um N'Golo Conti I mean this guy just watching him he's such a beast and he was there for the taking if we wanted him um, if Chelsea could dish out what they dished out for him I'm sure we could have as well I mean I guess the other question is if he would have even wanted to come to Liverpool but um you know there's just so many guys I mean I could spend a whole video talking about there's so many guys that I wish we could have went for uh, and I'm not sure I'm not sure why we didn't but anyway, yeah, on, on to the first game of the tournament. Um, I'm looking to see some fight. I really think um, you can get the guys to bounce back. If, if not, you know, I, I, I don't know what we're doing. Um, so take this tournament serious. Look at it as a chance to get some some, um, some uh, silverware this year. It's probably going to be our only chance. Um, you know, besides uh, if we go on and win the league, which I think is a long shot at this moment. Um, anything's possible, but... Today, in this moment, as Klopp says, in this moment, I, I can't, I can't see that happen. But you know, things change. We'll see. Um, I think it'd be a huge disappointment if we don't go for at least, I'll say at least one. I'd like two, but if we don't go for at least one more person in the in the transfer market, then um, you know, I, I, again, I don't know what we're doing. So. Um, 
excited to see what he's going with with the starting lineup. Um, I'm a firm believer that I think Stewart should get some time on the pitch. Um, I think Chan should play. Um, looks like one Yalden might be better used up top, up top on a winger position. I don't know though, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm excited that we're the Liverpool Football Club is playing again. I'm always excited about that, and um, just hoping we can we can show something different than we did in the game prior. It'll be a good warm up, so to speak. Uh, obviously not going to put this team on the same level as Tottenham, but it's like another scrimmage in, in my mind. I feel like it'd be nice to get a, a nice tune-up um, besides training and practice against each other. A nice tune-up before Tottenham, because Tottenham game is going to be tough. Um, their defense is going to be powerful. They got Wanyama in the mid middle of the park, Dyer. They're going to be a tough team to break down. Um, and we all know what, the, what they could offer moving forward, although I think their strength mainly is midfield back. I'm not thrilled with Harry Kane and you know, I, I think he could be neutralized. So um, for me, it's more so um, Ali and the other guys that they have that can provide some excitement. Personally, that's how I feel about it. So yeah, looking forward to it, and um, we'll see how the first half goes. And I'll be back for a halftime show and then a wrap-up show at the end. So stay tuned for that, and uh, we'll see you guys at halftime.